Hi, good afternoon everybody. And I'm going to introduce the Summersfield Robotics Team. Um, the Summersfield Robotics Team has just recently qualified to participate in VEX World, which is the World Championships for Robotics across uh, VEX IQ, VEX EDR and VEX U. They'll be joining more than 500 teams from around the world participating in the competition from both middle and high schools. Um, they're representing Bermuda. They earned their place by uh, attending a regional competition in Boston, Framingham. And we have started to work with a school there, Walsh Middle School, who've been helping us as we try to improve our team and grow robotics in Bermuda. Keep going? Okay. So here I'm going to introduce the team, um, and we're going to start off here. Hello, my name is Nash Story. I'm 12 and I work, well, I'm on the drive team. Um, so the drive team was responsible for solving the problem of getting onto the platform and just building a chassis that works. My name is Jacques Stéphanie and I'm 13 years old and I am in M2 and I work on the drive team and I am also the driver for the Summer Shield Robotics team. I'm Emily Orchard, I'm on the drive team, but I also do um, writing in the notebooks. Um, I'm 12, I'm in M1, and yeah. <laughs> I'm Owen Dinsmore, I am in M3, and I am 13, and a part of the ballistics Team, our challenge was to make a system which would intake the ball and then shoot it out to hit one of the flags. Uh, hi, my name is Sam Lindo. I'm in M3 and I'm 14. Uh, I am on the dry, uh, I am on the ballistics team as well, and I was in charge of building the intake, which picks the balls up. Hi, my name is Cameron Pimentel. I'm 13 and an M2, and I um, am on the ballistics team and built the um, shooting system. Hi, I'm Neil Varonkar. Uh, I'm 12 years old, and I'm in M3. And I was on the Team Flipper. Team Flipper was responsible for uh, flipping the caps and stacking them up on top of the poles. Hi, my name is Stefan DeCuto. I'm 12 and I'm in M2. I'm also on Team Flipper. And Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're going to give a demonstration of the game and we're going to show Jacques, who's going to be our nominated driver, is going to drive the robot for you today. Um, some basic introduction to the rules of the game. The teams are either on a red or a blue team and in the competition they will be working with a team from another school somewhere else in the world and their challenge is to score as many points as possible. Uh, the points can be scored by hitting the flags they can be scored by flipping the caps to get the appropriate color for their team. And at the end of the match, the teams have to try and climb onto the platforms. So there are only three platforms and there are four robots in the actual competition. So it gets quite heated in the middle of the game as the robots try and fight for the platforms, pushing each other on and off the platforms, rolling them over. And that's when the most fun happens. Okay, so we're gonna move the team off the field and then we're actually gonna give you a demonstration. Okay, so what Jack's doing here at the moment is just enabling the controller and starting the robot. And whenever you're ready. Whilst the, whilst the teams are playing, um, they have one minute and 45 seconds to score as many points as possible. As you can see, this robot's got quite a lot of force behind it and can do uh, a variety of things. Here we see him flipping the caps. 
The robot has eight motors on it and one single brain and it's controlled wirelessly, wirelessly with the joystick that's in action here. Here we can see Jack trying to pick a ball up and put it into the intake, and it, which he's done successfully. Now he's trying to navigate the robot to a position where he can actually uh, launch the ball at the flags. And he's trying to get the right position here. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, and there you see the ball fired. So the uh, firing mechanism on this robot has a slip gear on it and it's powered by some uh, elastic bands and, and it generates enough force to fire the ball across the, across the field. And we can see here one of the challenges they had there was to line the ball up as it came up the intake and to uh, get that into the, into the ballistics mechanism. There's lots of information on the internet that the teams can use. Um, and lots of teams share information about their robots for the upcoming competition, uh, which obviously allows all of the teams to iterate on the designs and try and find the best design possible. Luckily in the game so far, I don't see any of our robot on the field, uh, which is normally the case as the robots tend to uh, suffer quite a lot of damage when there are other robots competing. Okay, Jack? Okay, so for the finale of the game, the robots have to try and climb the center platform, and the most points are given by being on the yellow platform. Okay, he's trying. And there we go. So in that position there, that robot would actually win maximum points because it's clearly on the yellow platform. However, it's quite precariously placed so another competing robot would quite easily try and attack that position and knock it off the center platform. Sometimes that results in them rolling over, sometimes the results are even more disastrous. Okay? Okay, so can we just stop the robot, please? Okay, so robotics at Summersfield is a co-curricular activity at the moment, and we're working with the school um, to try and extend the program. Uh, we're also working with uh, Carnegie Mellon in the USA to extend um, the program and the offering to not only students at Summersfield but other schools as well. Um, if anybody is interested in uh, robotics or how they can do this with their school and extend the program, please feel free to contact me. Um, my name's Simon Story and I'd be happy to help. Thank you very much.